You are f***ing broke. And you are going to stay broke unless you can learn how to put in the work for an extraordinarily long period of time without burning out, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video so that you can accomplish all your goals, retire your parents, move to Dubai, buy a yacht, all that shit that you want to do, okay? So watch this in full. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so before I start this off, I want to make sure that you know that that Intro was absolutely meant to be ironic, okay, I don't wear those glasses all the time, but most of you have the attention span of a peanut, and my goal is to help the most people that I can, and if I have everyone leaving at the beginning of the video, I'm not really helping very much people, okay? So that's why I did it. If you leave right now, you're probably just going to end up failing your business just like you failed watching this video, okay? So watch it in full, or else you're not going to actually extract any value from this at all, obviously, okay? So... The first thing I want to get you guys to understand is the principle of entropy. And you're going to see how this actually ties into to this whole thing of, of energy and burnout in a second here, okay? But the idea of entropy is that over time, every system dies, okay? Chaos ensues and everything gets destroyed, okay? You can have the most discipline and the most drive in the world and you can still fail okay and the reason for that is because entropy cannot be stopped okay if you have a higher level of discipline than your neighbor great you might be able to sustain it for a long time however eventually it will disappear unless energy is used to maintain that level of drive okay so this is an issue that i was really dealing with like not too long ago okay and i realized I hadn't put, like, I was working for, like, eight months straight, no days off, 12 hours a day, every single day, and I was not giving any time to my mind, okay? And I think I have pretty strong discipline and pretty strong drive. However, over time, right, that's going to end up fading if I don't take care of myself, okay? And I basically ignored my entire mental health, um, and that kind of led me to a place where I was like lacking drive and lacking the reason as to why I wanted to keep on doing this. Okay. And thankfully I caught myself. I'm like, okay, um, let's take a look at what's going on in my head. Um, because right, all systems fail. I need to put some energy back into this system so that I'm actually able to achieve the result that I want to achieve. Okay. So the main thing here is you might think you have the most discipline in the world, or you might think you have the biggest reason and the largest drive, but if you're not constantly putting energy back into that, that system, you will eventually lose passion and you will fail. Okay. And the whole premise of actually succeeding in business is being able to do the same thing for a very, very long period of time. Right. And I'll get into more of that a little bit later. If you cannot stick to one thing for a very long amount of time, and if you don't have a system that's able to um, allow you to be consistent with yourself, right? You're going to fail. Okay. So there is a, there's a caveat to this too. Well, it's not really a caveat, but more, more of a side note where you want to be putting as much work in as possible. Okay. Because here's the difference, right? If you're putting in 10 hours a day, every single day, and your neighbor is putting in one hour a day of work every single day, you are going to achieve your result 10 times faster than him. Okay. The difference is that if you burn out, then you can't go for any longer and then you automatically lose. Okay. So you need to find a balance where you are putting in the most amount of work as humanly possible while also putting back the energy into the system that's allowing you to put that work in. Okay. So if you can work 10 hours a day for seven days a week for eight months, then do that. But make sure like, before you come to that eight months, that you start spending like maybe an hour a day, like actually doing things that are going to be able to improve your mental health. Okay. Because right, if you work for eight months, and it doesn't work out, which a lot of the times it won't, you need to make sure you are able to go for longer. Okay, you can't bank on the fact that you will succeed in eight months because a lot of the times you won't and you need to have that expectation that it's going to take a very long time and that's the shitty truth but that's just how it works okay so make sure like every person's number is going to be different make sure you're putting in the most amount of work as humanly possible while also maintaining that 
level of consistency for a very long time. If you're not able to work at 10 hours a day, seven days a week, then it's, it's better, right? It's better to work six days a week for five years than seven days a week for like two years. Okay. It's m like, you're going to see much more success because your understanding and your knowledge is going to compound over time. Right. And if you can do seven days a week for the same amount of time that you're, the other person could only do six days a week, then you have, th then that's even better. Right. But you need to make sure that you are able to stay consistent for an extraordinarily long amount of time. And you can only do that by introducing energy back into the system that's allowing you to actually accomplish that. Okay. Now, what do I mean by introducing energy back into the system? And I'm giving, I'm going to give you a framework for how I actually, um, how I actually do this myself. And there's a combination of different ways that you actually want to execute this. Um, but it really all starts with your goal. Okay. Because if I draw a graph for you here, either way, it's going to be very difficult. So this is what, and I know everyone draws this stupid graph, okay, but <laughs> it actually is very helpful to understand that this is, if you can't see that properly, it's just an exponential graph, okay? I'm not even going to show it because you can't even see it properly, but it's an exponential graph, okay? And that bottom part, right, I'll pull this up because it's important to actually show you how this, how this looks, okay? So this bottom part here, if you can see it, this, you need to expect this to take a very, 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 very long time. Like this might take seven years. Um, and that is like, like, I'm not even at the point of, of this exponential growth here, but you need to be understanding of that. Because if you think that this bottom part is like 60 days and you get to 60 days and you haven't achieved your goal, right? It's going to be very painful and it's going to make you doubt in your ability that you're actually ever going to be able to accomplish this. And most people quit at that point. Most people quit not because they don't have the skills or anything like that. It's not because they don't have the discipline. It's because they have false expectations of reality and they think they're going to achieve their goal in a matter of a few months when in reality, it's going to take a few years. Okay. And that is ultimately the reason why 99.9% .9 of people end up failing because they, they set their goal. They, I'm going to make 10 K per month in like four months, right? They get to four months. They're not making 10 K per month. And they're like, okay, well, I'll give myself another four months. And they do it for another four months and they still don't get there. And then they get discouraged and then they quit. Okay. You have to be ready for this to take years. Okay. And that's the only way to actually maintain your your mind right in order to actually accomplish this goal now this is not for everyone by the way like this is a very like painful experience this is like walking through fire right here this is only actually worth it if this goal is really if, like if what's up here is really 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 important to you that's the only way it's actually going to be worth it, right? So if you want to get 10k per month, just because you want like a cool watch for no other reason than that, like you, it's probably not going to, it, that's probably not going to be a big enough why, a big enough reason to actually want to go through all this pain at the beginning of that, that growth, right? So the way that, that I actually figured out, like what my, you have to like, really like take a look at yourself and figure out your deep, deep desires. Um, and your deep reasons for actually why this is something that is important to you. I'm just using 10 K as an example, right? That's like the most common shiny object that everyone thinks of. Um, it might be a lot bigger than that. It might be different, right? So take your own number. Um, but you have to really deconstruct that deconstruct it. So I'll use 10 K per month as an example. Um, pick your number that actually resonates with you. I'm just picking this as a like random number, right? And you have to deconstruct, you have to ask yourself, why do you want that number? Okay, then you're going to get yourself an answer. Then you ask yourself, why do you want that? And then you ask yourself why you want that and why you want that and why you want that and why you want that. Eventually, once you cannot answer that question anymore, you're going to come down to the very ugly truth of why you why, why you want what you want. And that might be because you were neglected as a child. It might be because people never believed in you, right? It, like 
you're like, this isn't going to be like, I want 10 K per month. Cause I want to drive like a nice car. It's going to be something much deeper than that. Probably something related to like your childhood or something like that. Right. Um, but this isn't something that, that is like, this, this has to be a deep level reason. Like most people say they want their goal just for monetary reasons. Right. That's extremely shallow. Okay. And if you give yourself a shallow reason as to why you want what you want, the level of effort and the level of resilience that you are going to have when you're actually walking through these tough times, um, when you're first starting is going to be very low, you're going to give up. And you're going to say that people who make it are lucky, right? Like 99% of the world does. So you need to figure out your deepest, darkest reason as to why you actually need to make this happen. Okay. Now we'll get into the actual like the the way you can actually maintain this system and this way of thought now that we have your goal okay so what i have is basically a not really a journal it's kind of like a little notebook that i basically have my routine on it um my like my all the details about what the future is that i want um like how what i want my future to look like and then kind of relating it back to the reason why i want that okay um and this is going to be like a pretty emotional thing because this is like, like this is, it should be rooted in like a, a deep reason as to why I have my old one here. I have a new one, but I haven't printed it out yet. So it kind of looks like this. You have your cover page and then you have a bunch of, oops, a bunch of like pictures of how you want your future to look like. I have a Corvette on here and then like a, a flat in Edinburgh and me building like a school in Africa. So I'm not like that good of a person. You don't need to think that. Um, but like all these different things, like you need to actually, and it's not just like looking at the page too. You have to truly visualize it and feel the overwhelming emotion that you would feel once you're actually able to accomplish this goal, right? Um, because if you don't have any emotion tied to this, you're not going to be able to actually withstand the pain that it takes to get there. Right. Um, and you just need to, and then another thing at the end of this, like you want to make affirmations as well. So this is kind of like a side note. Um, but it's really going to be beneficial to you, um, to believe in certain things. Okay. Cause percep this, is, I can do a whole like hour long video on this perception is reality. And that is, is literally just um, the truth, especially with how the brain works. Um, there's some scientific studies. I don't have the exact sources on me right now, um, but your brain does not know the difference between what actually happens and what happens in your mind. So if you're visually affirming the fact that, for example, maybe you're struggling a lot with sales. If you affirm the fact that you are good at sales, you are going to look for evidence to support that belief, right? So if you keep telling yourself every single day that you are good at sales, 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 eventually that is going to manifest into reality because you believe you are good at sales. You are going to do things in accordance to someone who is good at sales, and then you are going to become good at sales given enough time, okay? And this has really been a key factor in helping me um, actually achieve certain personality traits that I want. And that is going to like be able to, to help me actually build what I want to build. Um, so I would highly recommend having all that, right? Like have your, your, your future life, um, have your, like your reason as to why you want to do this in here, have your affirmations that you need to tell yourself in order to become the person who's able to accomplish your goals, right? Cause that's actually how you you accomplish them right um and you read that every single day right you keep that's how you put energy back into the system how you keep reminding yourself why you are doing the thing that you are doing um and then remind yourself like you can even put in here like what will happen if you fail to do what you do okay because a lot of the times the fear of failure is a lot bigger of a motivator than the drive for success right so you tell yourself like you're <laughs> a piece of shit sad lonely loser if you don't do like your your daily tasks that you need to accomplish you're probably going to end up doing them okay now there's one more kind of model that i wanted to to share here and this is going to be another graph 
Um, I'm actually going to draw this on my Miro board because this whiteboard kind of sucks. So let's um, let's go into that. Okay, so this model here that I'm going to show you, like this literally changed my entire mindset um, and was actually like massive in terms of like me being able to grow as an entrepreneur in general. Okay, so I'm going to draw this out for you here. And this like this should actually blow your mind. Okay, um, and I mean, it's not that complicated if you think about it and you probably subconsciously know this already. Um, but actually drawing this out is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Okay. So there's three domains that your business functions in. Okay. So it has to do with your, the niche. Okay. That is a big pen. Okay. The niche that you were in, right. Um, the problem that you solve and the solution that you actually like the solution that you have to solve the problem, right? And for each of these things, right? So here's what I originally thought. So it's just an exponential graph, right? You're in this phase, you're in the beginning phase, you're not going to see much growth, okay? But what you actually have to understand is there's an exponential graph for each of these three things, right? So if we want to take um, these and separate them a little bit, um, Right. You have your problem, your solution, and your niche. Um, each of these have different exponential graphs, right? So you have an exponential graph for your niche, an exponential graph for your problem, and an exponential graph for your solution. So it's not the longest that you stick to your business. It's the longest time that you can stick to these three domains collectively, okay? As you progress in your niche, you're going to gain a higher level of understanding at an exponential rate. Same with your problem and same with your solution. Let's say you've been in your niche for a whole year and you're like here. Actually, we're pessimistic, remember? So let's say you've been in here for like three years and you're like here. So you're like making your way up, right? You're probably making like 10K per month at least at this point. I'd hope so. Um, Let's say you've, you've been solving the same problem, right? For years, but you just switched your, so you switch your solution like every month. So you're always in this phase of your solution, right? And the, the, the highest bottleneck, right? The first bottleneck is what inhibits your system, right? So you have your, your system here, like this whole thing, but if you're being bottlenecked at the very part, like your whole, your overall exponential graph, like this is what it looks like when you combine the three, it's not going to be somewhere in the middle. It's actually going to be right here, right? Because this solution, right? You're changing your solution. So you don't have an under, uh, understanding of your whole system. You have a really good understanding of the niche and the problem, but you don't know at all. Like you're not experienced in how to actually solve it because you try and solve it a different way every single time. And this is, what I was experiencing, right? So you, you hear people like niche hopping and how this is a terrible thing, which it is, um, honestly, because this is going to reset here, right? But if you try, if you try and change your solution, like a million different times, let, let's say working with like gym owners, like first month, you do Facebook ads, and you're like, Oh, I don't want to do this. Let's do Google ads. And it's like, Oh, okay, let's do um, SMS reactivation. It's like, okay, change one. let's do e email. Like you switch every single like 30 days you're never actually going to be able to achieve great results for your niche. So that's going to make it for you, more difficult for you to sell them, more difficult for you to make a good offer, more difficult for you to charge higher ticket prices, right? And your business is going to be massively inhibited. You're going to be stuck at this point forever because you haven't stuck to, it's not about sticking to your business for a long time. Well, it is uh, inherently, right? But it's about sticking to these three domains for a very long time, right? So if you are like the only thing that needed that needs to change is, is your, your knowledge of your solution. And then you'd be all the way up on here. Right? So you need to be able to, it's not, it's not just the one thing, right? It's not just staying in a niche for a very long time. It is, but it's also about fixing the same problem for a very long time and fixing a solution for the very long time. Okay. So this was my biggest mistake where I was, I, I was sticking to the niche for a very long time, um, right? But I, I, the problem that I was solving was the same as appointment setting, but I was changing my solution every like second of the day, okay? So that is like, a, was a huge paradigm shift. 
um, that led to me actually being able to be good at what I do. Um, but yeah, so make sure you actually implement that and remember that. And I even put that in my in my new like book here, um, just to remind me that I need to stick to my domains and to stick stick to my circle of competence um, is something that Alex Tramozzi says, which I can uh, again I can make another whole video on what that actually means, right? But you have one thing that you're super good at, like maybe you're really good at appointment setting in my example, and you're like decent at sales. You're like okay at sales, but it's like not within your circle of competence. It's within your like greater range of knowledge. Um, but you want to stick like in here as much as you humanly possibly can, right? You don't want to stray off what you are really good at um, because people get paid for being really, 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 really good at one thing, not for being mediocre at a bunch of different things. Okay. So that's basically all that I wanted to um, explain in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, you can subscribe. YouTube will recommend more uh, videos like this. So obviously you can grow your business at a faster rate. If you want free coaching, I'm coaching you um, or I'm coaching my Facebook community every single Saturday at 11 o'clock Eastern time. So you can hop over there. Um, the link is in the description for that. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.